Hello everybody, good to have you back on my channel. This is the place where we talk about music mixing, mastering, sound design, game audio and more based Warsaw, Poland. Guys, it's 2023, I'm already into the year. I hope that's going to be an interesting year, talking to lots of my clients, lots of my co-workers. But still somehow in 2022 mentally, because 2022 was actually the year I did some mixing courses, you know, yeah, I finally decided to do so because no, I'm not a pro mixer and I really need to step up there with my own music, mainly guys. And I have a feeling that 2023 can be a breakthrough year in my mixing skills. I really do hope so. And guys, as I did some courses, I believe I can tell you a few words about it. I can actually encourage you to get one for yourself. And I'm going to make a very quick review of what I've, what I've already got or what I've already considered to get in the future. Let's go. Okay, I've set up everything. I know what I want to show you, what I want to talk about. But before we start, a couple of words more of kind of an intro. First, I'm an electronic music producer myself. So, so all the courses uh, of mixing and mastering I got for myself are electronic music oriented. Remember about this. I use sometimes orchestral or acoustic elements in my music, but this is all electronic music, IDM, let's say, sometimes EDM oriented music. That's the first thing. The second thing, guys, I believe this is very hard to learn mixing one to one, like get all the techniques ready and copied from somebody when doing a course. I think it doesn't really work that way, but I am absolutely convinced that getting a good mixing course makes sense and today's video is just actually to encourage you to get one for yourself because i know i improved massively when i did a couple of courses and i really hope that's gonna be audible in 2023 and i also hope to make a little series of my mixing, I wouldn't even call them tutorials, my ways of mixing so that you can see and you're going to get inspired with something because I start feeling competent in this area, guys. So let's go. This is my browser full of tabs open and I've got some courses I'd like to talk about. And I'm going to start with the ones I haven't made yet, actually, but probably I will try. Mixwiththemasters.com is the first one. And well, just take a look at the list of people that are your mentors here. I mean, these are mainly very, very serious professional producers and mixers. And I'm gonna get it for myself. Why didn't I do it so far? Because it's mainly pop, rock, sometimes cinematic music oriented. And I'm actually looking for something else. I have to dig through it and get some lessons that are oriented the same way that I am in what I do in the studio. So for now, I haven't got it, but I'm having a plan to take a deeper look into this. Then comes Pure Mix, same story. I haven't tried it yet, though I wanted actually to buy subscription. My payment was rejected with a unknown error. I didn't write to the support so far, but same story as Mix uh, with the Masters. I'm gonna try it one day. So these are just, let's say, honorable, honorable mentions that I haven't got so far. But probably I will. And then comes the first one I actually had subscribed and I have been using this for quite some time, watching the vids and stuff, mainly by this man, Luca Pretolesi, mymixlab.com. Luca is a really, really serious guy when it comes to EDM and electronic pop music mixing and mastering. He works outside the box with hardware. He's got very interesting authorial routing of signals. He's got very authorial, very creative way of 
sculpting the tone of everything he does. He's also a great, great educator, guys. He really, he he's not going to show you maybe one-to-one -one all of the techniques and all of the steps that he's making, but he is going to actually present you a way of thinking. He's going to tell you a lot how he approaches music artistically, what are the goals he's uh, trying to achieve, and how is he, is, is, he, is he trying to listen critically to what he's got and how he's trying to improve the sound step by step? And I have to tell you, as for the general way of thinking about mixing and sculpting the sound, Luca Pretolesi is the guy. He's not going to show you the door with all the technical steps, no. But this is a huge, huge value. The only problem I've got with this that my Stripe, my pain card uh, expired and I actually changed it inside my account and my MixLab was not able to process my payment. So for now, my subscription is actually on hold and actually the guys at my MixLab dropped me an email. We are aware my MixLab has been experiencing some technical issues. Our team is working very hard to build a new website and resolve this issue quickly. We're truly sorry that you have not been able to access your subscription or any video. The new website is expected to be up and running this month, so I hope January, which is a good news. Great that they replied. I'm going to get back to some Luca Pretolesi stuff because there's some very little percent I haven't uh, watched so far. And as for the teachers, there's Martin Forwerk, also Scott Banks, Henry Fong, John Kong, so electronic music mixers, producers. And there's also this puppet, Ride Reed Stefan, Stefan, um, Ride right, Stefan, I believe this is an American name. Why is it a puppet? Who's that guy? I don't know, but it feels kind of cringy for me sometimes to look at him, especially when he's together with Luca <laughs> in one screen, which happens. But okay, this is a puppet guy teaching you, but he's not bad. Actually, of course, it's, it's a person behind this puppet. He's also not bad. Then, guys, the, se the next thing I have tried is Fader Pro. And I have a problem with Fader Pro. I'm not fully, like, 100% satisfied. I'm going to tell you why in a second. First, I did Tech House Masterclass with Dean Ramirez, uh, a UK-based producer and mixer, and that was a great one. Uh, I skipped, kind of skipped the production process. I simply got into the mixing part of it, and that was really, really great. There's also a single Luca Pretolesi uh, masterclass in the studio with Luca Pretolesi, which was also great. Then I got... This, and this was a huge, huge value for me. Robert Babich, track from scratch. Also, I somehow focused on this technical mixing mastering uh, aspect of this course. I haven't finished that yet. What's kind of cool and interesting that Robert Babich is the guy who sometimes visits my, cha my channel. He comments on the videos and he also criticized some of my attempts to mix and master, which are totally legit, but hey, Rob Acid, I'm going to try again and I'm going to invite you to the channel so that you comment again in 2023 and you're going to judge somehow and going to give me feedback on what I do in 2023 in music mixing and mastering. Really hoping for this. And this course is actually great. Robert Babich of Fader Pro is a must. Fatal Pro is actually full of courses. There are a lot of artists for you available, but also not all, all of the material is of the highest quality, I'm afraid, because I've got a course by Joachim Pastor. I totally admire Joachim Pastor as a music producer, but this, guys, sorry to say, is a fucking mistake. You cannot publish anything like this, you sh it should not be released and you should go back to Joachim and tell him to do, his, do it once again. Because if you put it online, that means that you're not serious. You're not treating your public and your customers seriously. Why? 
because all the music that Joachim presents, all the creative process out there is recorded in mono. I'm serious. All the course is in mono. How could you let it happen, first of all, how Joachim could have let it happen, and how could you have not verified this, and why did you put it on online as one of your lessons? It shouldn't be here. This is unprofessional, guys. Absolutely, stunningly unprofessional. You're, you're an audio pro community. Joachim Pastor is supposed to be a pro. If you're pros, guys, you cannot release something that's that's a course in mono. Like it's it's not usable at all. I'm I don't know what I'm listening to actually. It's like like come on. Uh, plus he's got his lavalier microphone here. Uh, I used to work on film sets for almost a decade, as you know, and I'm kind of competent here. He's got his level here. He doesn't take care about it totally. And it crackles. Sometimes it, it's hardly audible what he says at all. He doesn't give a fuck about it, actually. And it absolutely shouldn't be like this. Also, he's yawning all the time. <sighs> yeah, I'm tired. Like, you know, yeah, let's go. Let's continue. I mean, okay, he's doing this overtime probably. But I would like to see a guy who's a little bit more in contact with me as well. So guys, do something about it because this particular thing makes me unsubscribed from Fader Pro. I'm serious because people releasing something like this, they are not serious. Uh, so no Fader Pro, thank you. But fortunately, I got something else in the same area as Fader Pro, I would say, because this is strictly electronic music production and mixing. Lots of skills, lots of genres, lots of software courses as well. And guys, so far, I've just got one thing here, but it's stellar. It made me think that producer tech is a really, really great place to learn. It's this one, melodic deep tech house and techno mix down. It's made by a guy called Simon Shackleton, electronic music producer for films, games, etc. And this one is marvelous. It's in-depth. It's very detailed. It's very competent. It's very well-structured. And there's time for everything. And you're going to see the way that Simon thinks about th things, the way he approaches everything, and you're going to also see everything step by step technically. And the whole track uh, he's presenting to you, it's really very well produced, very well mixed and very well mastered. So that means this guy knows actually what he's doing. And it's got 19 modules. For now, I'm in module 11. I haven't finished, but I already know this is really stellar. And modules are lessons. So these are like a couple of hundreds of minutes. It's like, I would estimate, I haven't counted, but I would estimate this is like at least five to six hours of solid electronic music mixing and mastering knowledge. And this is super cool. And that makes me feel that I'm going to dig through producer tech more guys. Hmm, you know what? That's it. These are the things I have already tried in 2022. These are the things I'm going to try as new platforms in 2023. I'm going to also continue probably with producer tech and my mix lab guys. And I'm ready to sum the things up for you. All right, guys. So these are the things I have tried on the, or, or I'm planning to try in 2023. I wanted to only talk about the stuff I'm going to try or I have tried already. But of course, there are more of them online. Some of them are cool and competent. Some of the platforms, probably not really. Uh, I believe that, that what I have chosen is kind of reasonable, guys. But still, we have to remember about one, th one thing because I'm quite convinced that this is true. It's not possible, and that's not the point, to learn learn everything one-to-one -one from your online mixing courses. 
You cannot copy all the techniques. You cannot copy all the compressor settings. They're not going to work universally everywhere where, where you throw them. Same for saturation and EQ and stuff. It all depends. It's simply good to see some professionals working, thinking about stuff, sharing their thoughts and then operating some pieces of hardware, both hardware and software. And this is the whole thing. I'm going to see a professional or a master like Luca Pretelesi. He's a master for me. I'm going to see the master at work. I'm going to see some really high grade professionals at work, not mentioning Joachim Pastor, who's a great producer, but not such a great educator, guys. And you know what? All this really made me a different person somehow <laughs> in my professional life because I believe that I have pushed things forward in mixing and mastering and you're gonna totally hear it in 2023. So if I could make it, you can make it guys. I'm gonna make my own mini series of mixing and mastering. I'm gonna start this uh, probably in 2023. But first of all, get yourself a good mixing and mastering course. Do yourself a favor, improve your own music this year. That's it guys. And these are maybe my wishes for 2023 so that we all improve our music skills. Guys, thank you, take care, see you soon.